Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. But first, let's have our shout out to MJ, Paula, Marie, Joy, Elizabeth, Diane's Designs, Lola Gamma, Black Coffee, and Sharon. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I have a very large doily here. This doily is approximately eight and a half inches across. And so I have a coffee dyed piece of copy paper and I am going to place this right on here just like this and I'm going to glue this on. Now I'm going to glue it on using my Tombow glue and how I'm going to do that is actually I'm going to move this over here like this and I'm going to go around the flower like this on the edge all the way around and it's going to take me just a few moments so let's go ahead and check back when I get it all done. All right I've brought in my coffee dyed piece of paper and I have my doily and it does have its glue on it and I'm just going to place it right here so that it fits completely onto my doily, just like that. And I'm just going to gently kind of, I guess, wipe it is the word. I want to get it stuck down, and I'm going to try to wipe some of this glue off. So there we go. Okay, so now our doily is attached to our coffee dyed paper. Now I'm going to get this dry and we'll continue. All right, so we're all dry. So now I'm going to turn it on the back side. I'm going to get my ruler and I'm going to go from one point to the other point across, you know, the cross point, the, the opposite point. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word opposite. And I'm going to line my ruler up to the points here and down here. So I'm just going to draw a very light line. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the exact same thing right here with point to point. Okay. Now, after I have that done, <coughs> I'm going to take my doily, I'm going to take, okay, here's our doily, here's our square. I'm going to take one of the points and I'm going to go up and I'm going to put this point right where the two marks cross and I'm going to fold it just like that. Then I'm going to take the opposite point and I'm going to put it to this point. And I'm going to fold. Now we look like this. Then I'm going to take my bottom one. But first I'm going to turn this and I'm going to take this point and this point and put it on that darker line right there. Then I'm going to take this side or this end and I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to fold it up a half an inch. And I'm using the marks on my grid to help me do that. Alrighty, so now we look like this. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Oh my goodness, you guys. So we're going to have to put our flap on here. So once again, I'm lining this up along that darker mark, and I'm just going to fold this down. I moved it a little bit. I want to fold it down about a half an inch. Okay, so... There we go. I'm going to crease. Alrighty, now we look like this. Open it up. We look like that. Alrighty, so now what I want to do is completely open it up. And right here where there is, where we have creased it, which I'm going to see if I can get this creased a little better because it's actually kind of hard to see. There's a pie shape right here on the creases, and I'm just going to trim it out. We don't want that. It makes it way too bulky. 
we're just trimming right here, we're trimming here, and we have one more to go, this corner right here. There we go. Now, what I want to do is, let's see, I want it just like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my book page and I'm going to place my book page inside. But first, I need to see that it is going to fit. And I do know that I'm going to have to cut it a little bit. So folded it just a little bit to see and I think I want to cut it maybe about right here and this book page is a little torn so I'm going to be actually cutting that off right here so I'm going to shorten this book page because of my tear right here and I think I'm going to see if I can just trim it like this I'm going to be very brave I'm going to be very brave right here. We'll see how we do. So let's see if it fits back in well enough. Oh yeah, that fits very nicely. So what I want to do is I'm going to, let's move these papers out here. I'm going to take my Tombow glue. You can use absolutely any glue of your choice, okay? And I'm going to put glue on my flap. I'm going to take it down inside and I'm going to place my glue and across the bottom and up. Now I'm doing this inside the folds. I'm not doing on the outside of the folds because we measured our paper to fit inside of the fold. So I'm going to just try to line this up a little bit. And I think I need to move it over just a tiny bit. And let's see, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Now I'm just going to glue it in. Glue this all in. Okay, now there is a little bit of glue residue, but it's going to dry quickly. You don't want to close it until you get it to dry completely. And what we want to do is now we want to trim. So let's just trim this just like this and just like this. Alrighty. So now we have our inside completely lined with our book page. I'm going to dry this and we'll continue. All right, I'm completely dry here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink up the inside edge as I tell you about what is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. I have a Facebook group. The link is down below. I invite you all to join. And on that Facebook group, I invite you to show me your version of our hashtag Tag Me Tuesday project. And when we make the same exact thing, it comes through, our personality comes through in our crafting. So just because we're making the same project does not mean that our projects are going to look the same. And we all love to see everybody's version of hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. So, what you'll need to do is you'll need to agree to the rules of the group to be able to join. And the rules are to be kind to everyone and there is no selling. Now that doesn't mean you can't sell. It means that you cannot sell on that site. Okay? And that's all you have to do to be able to join. But if you do not accept the rules, then I won't be able to accept you into the group. It's pretty simple. So now I'm just inking up my edges here and what I want to do is I want to close this and I want to ink the folds as well. So I'm going to close this up and ink the folds and right here, ink the folds and right here. I don't want to forget to ink my fold inside. Sometimes it doesn't like to turn that way but 
you can get the idea. I just, that's all it needed, just a little something like that. Now I want to take my little sponge and I'm just going to kind of go in circular motions and I'm just laying a little bit of ink down on some of the doily. I'm not totally covering it. I'm just hitting it here and there just to give it some color. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. All right, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cl close this. So I'm going to close it like this, and then I'm just going to turn this over, just like that, just a little bit, and then I'm going to turn it back the other way. I just find it easiest to first measure and turn it that way and then turn it back. Glue this little corner down. Now you're going to be applying the glue to this portion of the envelope. Do not put any glue right here and continue on the other side just like that. Then we're going to shut it. All right, so now we have a beautiful doily envelope. Yes, it's backed with coffee dyed paper, but it's still absolutely beautiful and it still has a doily on it. So I'm back here on this side and I have my word paragraph stamp right here and it looks like this. I do believe they still sell this in the local craft shops. At least they did last time I was there, which was a little while, but I think you're, it's still available is what I'm trying to say. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly ink this up here and there. I'm not doing it everywhere, just here and there. And I'm going to move this right over here, and I'm just going to apply it right on top, just like that. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? That is absolutely beautiful. So the next thing... I want to do is I want to decorate this a little bit. Now what I have here is I have some distressed Victorian velvet, distressed oxide shabby shutters. I don't know that I'm going to use that one. And I have some distressed oxide fire brick. And I think what I want to do first is I want to bring in this little flower stamp. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to ink up this flower stamp with this, what was it? I always want to call it pink, but it's Victorian velvet. And I'm going to just put it right here. And then I'm going to put a little bit more up here. And then one more down here like this. So I've just kind of gone in a circle. Isn't that sweet? Mm, I love it. I love it. Okay, so then what I'd like to do, I don't need that color, I don't need that stamp anymore. I'm going to bring in my dish right here. And in my dish, I have a fussy cut bunny with another little bunny. This is from digitalcollage.com. And I think that this bunny would be adorable right there. Now I have a few labels here. And these labels, last time I tried to say her name, I know I just messed it up. And so I'm just going to show you. She is on Etsy, and that is where I got these labels from. And I have, I haven't coffee dyed that one. I thought I did. I coffee dyed this one. I guess I didn't coffee dye the back of that one. I have inked up the edges, and I just want to glue this down just like this. First, I think I want to add... A butterfly or two. So I'm going to get my butterfly and this is my little butterfly that I have like this and I think this is where I'm going to use my fire brick and I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to just put it here. Yeah that's good. I'm going to kind of see where this is going here and let's see where else do I want this. Maybe right down here, right here, over the, over that 
and maybe right down here at the very bottom like that. All right, now let's put this all together. Oh, sorry about that squeaky noise. That even hurt my ears. Mm. All right, so hopefully those have dried. <laughs> and let's see, we were going to put it something like this, or I was. I think that looks good. And I have this little one that says Paris, and I was thinking it could go right here. Okay, so I'm going to get my glue, and I'm using my Tombow glue. You guys, you can use any glue that you like. It does not matter what glue you use for this project. And I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to put glue on my fussy cut here. And I do have an example. It has a different image. It is an Easter image. So I've just been thinking about Easter a little bit. And it's coming up quick this year. Let's go ahead and slip this down in here like this. Maybe something like that. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Push it all down. Get it all glued down. I don't think I did very good right here. A little bit more glue right there. Stuck to my finger. <laughs> all right, so now I have a piece of lace. It's a very different type of lace. It looks like this. I'm just going to cut, uh, I think I want to cut it this way. And I'm just going to cut a strip of this. And I'm thinking maybe I want it to just be right there. Just use two of them. Just for a little decoration right here. I think that would be nice. Um, maybe even one up above, like here. Okay, so I'm going to switch and use my hot glue. I had moved it away and I forgot that I moved it. Here we go. I'm going to use my hot glue for this because it's just quick and easy. And I'm just going to add my glue. I'm going to stick it right there, just like that. I'm going to need a little bit more glue here. And I'm going to put a glue right here and stick this one right there. Now, on my other example, I did not use any bling. But I'm kind of thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe, and maybe we want a little bit of bling here. Maybe just two right there. Um, that's really pretty right there. But before I put that down, I want to switch to the back side because on the back side, we're going to need to have a way of closing this, right? So before I uh, put my closure in, remember the corners that we cut off of our book page? Uh, I guess it went like this, right? I saved mine. And I'm going to trim this, and I'm going to cut it so it's right here in a triangle. And I want to add it. Do I want to go this way or this way? Oh, this way is fine. I'm going to add it right here. But first I want to ink it up a little bit so it matches everything. I'm just going to ink this up. There's a little... Okay something on that. Ink this up. And I'm going to glue it right here. One, it's going to help reinforce it just a little bit. And two, it does add some interest. Okay, so there we are. That's glued down nicely there. And then I'm going to go back to this side and I really want to kind of jazz this side up maybe just a little bit. So I've got some cotton lace right here. And I think that I want to just cut a little bit of this, maybe like this. And I'm going to just pull, fray it just a tiny bit. 
just to give it that look. And I want to, I think that's the right way, I want to glue it on right there. So I think what I really need to do is grab a paper clip and get this so it will hold the close there. It's going to make it so much easier. I'm going to add my glue right onto my lace right here. And I'm going to just add it right there, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my little pieces right here. And I think I'm going to cut like this. And just want to add a little color to it. So once again, I'm just going to add my glue to my lace. And then I'm going to just hopefully hurry up and lay it down. That's the one thing about hot glue, guys. You can't fool around with it. You Got to put it on there. You got to get it glued down, or it will dry. So, got that down. Now, where on earth is my? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Here's another label. This is what I want to put right here. So, right here where your book page line is, that's your, that's your little mark that you're going to put your label. Now, we're only going to glue our label down on three sides. All right. So one two, three, and we're going to lay it right here, just like that. Alrighty, and then I'm going to get another little piece of this just to finish it off on the bottom, and I'm going to cut a little piece of it, and I'm going to fray it, and then I'm going to pop it right down on there. I'm going to move it over just a little bit like that. And I think I'd like to add a little bit more of this. So let's see how this looks. Do I want all of it or do I just want a little bit of it? Nope, all of it is fine. I think that looks really sweet. There is a right and a wrong, but I can't figure out what it is. So we're just going to choose this side. Come on now, Kathy. And we're going to get it on like this. Okay, so there's our decoration for the back. Isn't that pretty? And you close it just like that so it sticks right there inside. It's still a little wet. It's right inside. It keeps it closed. Let's go back over to the, to the front, what I'm going to call the front. And what I'd like to do is, I just lost that. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add, I think I want it down here. I want to add a little bit of glue right down here. And I'm going to just pop this on right here like this. Oh, come on now. Oh my goodness. I think that turned out really well. I love that. Oh my goodness, I love it. You know what? I really want another butterfly at the top. It seems to need a little something right there at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little ink on here. Not a whole lot. Well, probably is a lot now. And I'm going to put it right there. Yep, that's just what I wanted. It will help kind of carry your eye. I love that. Absolutely love it. Now let me show you the one that I made earlier. And it looks like this. Now it's needing a little bit of bling and I wasn't really sure where to put that bling when I when I made it I just kind of wanted it over here I got so much glue on my fingers but I wanted it down here too but then it didn't look quite right over here and I just so then I thought well maybe I want um, here, my dish here maybe I want a colored something colored right here Mm, but then I just wasn't sure, and that's where I was with this. It kind of needs to be on this side, but I'm just not sure of where exactly I want this. Maybe just three or two little pieces right there. So let's just do that. Let's just pop them right there, right here. So they will be just fine right there, because I really wanted a little bling on there. I thought it just really jazzed it up nicely. 
and that's how this looks oh isn't that so sweet and on the back this one looks like this oh you guys oh there's the dog <laughs> i absolutely love this project and if you do please give me a thumbs up i invite you to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video i'll see you there guys bye now